One way to find out. Yep, yeah, you're right. There is. I go myself, but my, I have terrible motion sickness. Please, you're the village's only hope. I don't have Connor here to do Mandrake for like the last two sessions. I've been talking about him in the third person, but now it's all done. Now, please, man, go I'll after him. I'll take a set of rain. I'll take a set of rains from Mandrake. Okay. Ask him where Poser is. Hey, where is Poser? I left him with the shaman at one of the large trees. They gave me his stuff and just told me to, you know, go on for a couple hours. Then you guys caught up to me, so I just led you back here where it's safe. I don't know where he is. Huh. Okay. Maybe he's we'll doing some kind of we... Jedi training montage and earning really cool powers, and the price of that is to miss this exciting chase. I'm sure you'll catch up with him later. Whoa, wait a second. That's Please clarify. Jedi, <laughs> shut the Jedi fuck up, training. Jeff. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> but they all sat in on the last game. The well, entire audience was here in episode... Yeah. No, okay. Um, so I'll take a set of reins. Okay. And um, motion for Merrick to do the same. I mount. I'm assuming we're both equally uncomfortable, though. Yes, well, I imagine we are. Proficiency and ride check are no. Let the ride checks begin, gentlemen. Good news oh, is the DC a is relative. A, a ride check. Ride. The module is Should very I specific make on this. Tactics check instead. Nope. Now tactics could possibly help you in the upcoming 13. situation. But to mount as a move action. Now there's all kinds of things in the Star Wars core rule book on page 72 about, you know, soft call, leaping, staying in the saddle, guiding with your knees, and we'll get all into that soon enough. But for right now, the beginner's guide to riding a kaibuck. So I uh, roll a 20, true to form, the scout gabs the reins and throws the leg up over the top of this weird creature and doing my best Howard Dean. Yeah! <laughs> Off I go. <laughs> Shooting into the bush <laughs> with a ride check that almost rivals Merrick's slooming stealth. Firing. This thing is fast agile and seems to it will let you guide it with the reins but it's not a, you know it's not a stupid animal with blinders it's just going to like barrel into something this thing basically which way do you want to go and i will take you zipping through that general direction and this thing just goes hi buck take the wheel that's right <laughs> so followed by merrick uncomfortable 19 <laughs> the kai buck under the huge larger like what were we saying? Like the Chewbacca size man? Like you don't take up four <laughs> yep. squares, but you're considered a large creature, right? You mount yep. this thing expertly and you you go to ride, you know, and this, this thing just starts jittering with the legs and like, just shaking, taking a step and going. And there's a little bit of, you know, traction and speed and it gets it going and then leans in and just uses Merrick's mass as a forward propulsion as it tries to like sort of fall forward and lift Merrick, you know, as it's crushing him down and crashes off into the Felucian jungle. Next. We have Dr. Leth has a ride check. Going with them, Doctor? Good on you, sir. The 14. Mounts easy enough. No problem. Right? Oh, right. well. Yeah, reins, shall we? Next. No foxes, no hounds, sir, but you know, I'm pretty sure they went that way. Off he goes, zipping off into the Flucian jungle, which leaves us with Rahal at 13. Oh, no. From this point on, there is a DC base ride of 10 for most stuff and then we get into some very cool bonuses and penalties and conditional all dealing in fives beating something by five really cool getting within five you're fine less than five not so great less than ten oh no and you know and they have these wonderful little situations so going with the wind or in your case you've already gone heading off into the jungle we have color-coded kaibucks for you guys to jump on and this is why I asked you guys to pick these certain colors, brown, red, green, blue, and purple, because your kaibucks are color-coded to you. If you blow a roll, you know, kaibuck keeps going, and perhaps you're on your butt somewhere in the middle of the jungle. So we have Dr. Leth on his green spotted kaibuck. We have Frank on his purple spotted kaibuck, Rawl on his red spotted kaibuck, and Mara crushing his brown spotted kaibuck. And into the jungle we go. The chase begins. As you guys mount your kaibucks and go whipping off into the actual bush, I want you guys to roll for initiative. 